It's not the first time I've had the flashbacks. Doubt it will be the last. Come on, come on, where are you? Come on, keep going, come on, Charlie. Where the fuck are you hiding now? What? Well, like a lot of guys back then, I'd signed up for the war, but hey, I wasn't no patriot. I had different reasons. <laughs> Things hadn't been going so well that day, and I'd been separated from the rest of my platoon. I was trying to catch up to them, but those fucking rat tunnels were crawling with Charlie. Couldn't believe my fucking luck. The way out of the tunnels was blocked by a pile of fucking rubble. I needed to find a way to clear the exit, so I headed back into the darkness. <laughs> it all looks a funny thing. Just when you think the whole world's against you, you get lucky. From the gun emplacement's vantage point, I could just make out the shape of an undetonated bomb right in the middle of the pile of rubble that blocked my way out of the tunnels. Ever tell you my brother Petey had been a numb? Oh, yeah. He'd been the heroic type. True patriot. Yeah, he signed up as soon as he got the chance. Me, I wasn't in any such fucking hurry. And then one day I come home to find my mother in tears. She was shaking all over, holding a picture of Petey. Patriotism had gotten him killed. Nah, I wasn't a patriot. I was there purely for revenge.
When I eventually caught up with the platoon, they'd taken heavy losses and were coming under some pretty heavy fire. One of them had taken heavy losses and were coming under some pretty heavy fire. Hey, over here! Use the grenades! Keep your head down! Ground support needed to grid out the Bravo 2 box! Use those grenades, soldier! <laughs> That's when I first met Eggs. He was on his knees crying like a baby. Uh, if there'd ever been a plot to that fucking war, he'd lost it. Come on, soldier, we gotta get out of here. No, 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 I ain't moving. Charlie's everywhere, man. We're fucked. We are so fucked. Look, a Huey's on its way to the village, just up ahead. Look, you go if you want, man. I'm staying right here. You ain't staying here, so help me God, I'll fucking kill you myself if you don't fucking move right now. They are coming? They are coming to get us? What, are you fucking deaf or something? The Huey's coming to take us out of here. Now we gotta go before we can't fucking move for Charlie. Okay, mate, but I ain't going first. I'll follow you. I knew from the first time I met him that he was a coward. I know, Eggs played the tough guy, but when the chips were down, he was just a fucking crying baby coward.
take it, see, huh? When I reached the village, the Viet Cong were dug in pretty tight. Huey was on its way, but we knew there was no way it was gonna land in the middle of all that fucking crossfire. No way. Now, if we wanted out of there, we were gonna have to clear the area hut by hut. Watch yourself! There's BC in those bushes! When we were safely on board the Huey, I remember Egg said to me, Hey buddy, don't go telling nobody about me losing it back there. I, I really thought I was a dead man. Hey, I didn't even get your name. Name's Joey. Hey Joey, I'm Johnny. Johnny Biondo. But everybody calls me Eggs. So that's why Egg said he owed you that. I didn't know you'd saved his butt back in Nam. Yeah. Right now I wish I'd left the fucker to die. Yeah? I thought you said he was your friend. <laughs> he was. Eggs and me first saw the gold back in Nam. And since then, both have become a real fucking pain in the ass. You didn't tell me yet what happened to Carolina. You ever get your truck back? So like I told you, I'd managed to get to the swamp. All I had to do now was catch up with this weasel Walt and get my truck back, but wasn't exactly all alone out there. Corolla's coming this way. Dolly while we unload the truck. Lock and load. 